Professor Dave again, let's graph some more lines. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. We now understand how to graph lines in the coordinate plane. But we have been doing this exclusively using the y equals mx plus b form, otherwise known as the slope intercept form. There is another form that we will see for lines, and it's called the standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. This is just another way of communicating linear relationships, and it can be useful in certain situations, especially if we want to graph a line very quickly. To see why it's so easy to graph this way, let's try an example. Say we have 4x plus 6y equals 12. Instead of plugging in x values to make a table, let's just rationalize that the y-intercept, or the point where the line crosses the y-axis, must have an x value of 0. Likewise, the x-intercept, or the point where the line crosses the x-axis, must have a y-value of 0. For this reason, to find the y-intercept, we can just plug in 0 for x. The x term will go away, 6y equals 12, so y equals 2. That means the y-intercept is the point 0, 2. Then, to find the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y. The y term will go away, 4x equals 12, and x equals 3. That means the x-intercept is the point 3, 0. With two points on the line now apparent, we are ready to draw the line, and that's all there is to it. So we should note that standard form is useful when trying to find the intercepts of a line and when trying to quickly graph the line. However, if we want to talk about the slope of the line, it's a little trickier, and slope-intercept form is better for that, since the slope is listed right in the equation. If we have a line in standard form and we want to know the slope, there are two things we could do. We could take the two intercepts, which represent points on the line, and use the coordinates of those points to calculate the slope. For this example, the two points are 0, 2, and 3, 0. That means the rise is negative 2 and the run is 3, which gives us negative 2 thirds for the slope. The other thing we could do is convert this equation into slope-intercept form. All we have to do is solve for y. So the first thing to do would be to subtract 4x from both sides. Now we have 6y equals negative 4x plus 12. Then we divide both sides by 6. That gives us y equals negative 4 sixths x, which simplifies to negative 2 thirds x, plus 12 over 6, which is 2. And converting from standard form to slope-intercept form is just that simple. We could also go in reverse, from slope-intercept to standard form. To do this, we should note that in standard form, a, b, and c must be integers. They can't be fractions. So the first thing we would do is multiply everything by 3. That gives us 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Then we could add 2x to both sides to get 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now we can see that this form is actually a little simpler than our original equation. In fact, each term seems to be half of the original term. What this tells us is that when writing an equation in standard form, not only do a, b, and c have to be integers, but they should be in the lowest ratio of these integers that is possible. 4, 6, and 12 can all be divided by 2 to get a simpler version of the equation, so this will be the more correct version of the equation. We would still get the same values for the intercepts and therefore the same line, but we always want the simplest form of the equation possible, so we must bear this in mind when converting between the two linear forms. Now that we have both of these forms down, let's check comprehension.
Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com. Thank <laughs> you.